Tip number two, open your mind. Ay. Tip number two, open your heart. Ay, and... <laughs> Ano-ano nga ba ang mga mathematics subjects sa senior high school? Watch this video to find out. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad feature. Hi guys! Welcome back to Math with Miss Mina. Senior high school ka na! Yay! Congratulations on doing a job well done in your junior high school day. Welcome to your senior high school life. And yes, meron pa ring math. I made this video with you, senior high school students in mind. Para kay papano, ma prepare ang inyong hearts and minds sa mga mathematic subjects sa may encounter ninyo ngayong senior high school. Let's start! Let's talk about the three types of subjects in senior high school. First, you have the core subjects. Second, you have the specialized subjects. And third, you have the applied subjects. So, ang concern natin is yung unang dalawa, which is yung core subjects and yung mga specialized subjects because there are five mathematics subjects under those two types. Ano nga ba ang isang core subject? Ang mga core subjects, ito yung mga subjects na kahit ano pa yung strand mo, ititake mo pa rin tong mathematics subjects na to. So, kahit Humes, Gas, or STEM ka pa, ititake mo pa rin tong mga mathematics subjects na to. Those two subjects are General Mathematics and Statistics and Probability. Ano-ano naman yung mga specialized subjects? Specialized subjects are unique to the strand that you are taking. Sa mga ABM students, you're going to take up business mathematics. And para sa mga STEM students, we have pre-calculus and basic calculus. In the next part of this video, we're going to talk about the topics or questions that you may encounter for each subject. First up, general mathematics. The three major topics under general mathematics are functions, basic business math, and logic. Under functions, matututunan ninyong mag-evaluate at mag-operate ng mga functions. So, para tinyo makakita tong symbol na to, you'll get to model real-life situations using piecewise functions. You'll also solve for the domain, range, and asymptotes, not asymptomatic. In basic business math, you'll get to learn about interest, stocks and bonds. And in logic, you'll know that there is someone who loves you is an I because of propositions. Together with that, you'll also get to learn syllogisms, fallacies, and methods of proof and disproof. Second is statistics and probability. So I think statistics and probability is a very very important core subject na dapat lahat matutunan. Mostly sa grade 12, usually puro research. So we know that when we speak of research, that entails statistics and probability. The five major topics under statistics and probability are random variables and probability distributions, normal distribution, sampling and sampling distributions, estimation of parameters, and tests of hypothesis. You'll get to answer questions like, what is the probability of getting a hard card or a jack card in an ordinary deck of cards? What does Q to the left mean? Do you think that the claim is valid at 5% level of significance? Now, for the specialized subjects. Accountancy, business, and management students will be taking up business mathematics, which covers fractions, decimals, and percentages, ratio and proportion, buying and selling, salaries and wages. While STEM students have two specialized subjects in mathematics. Patandaan nyo ba yung MI Math? Ano yung STEM? STEM? Science, Technology, and Management. Pre-calculus is a preparation subject for you guessed it! Basical! Pre-calculus is composed basically of analytic geometry, series and mathematical induction, and trigonometry. In analytic geometry, you get to answer questions like, what is the center of the circle given its general or standard forms? Or what is an ellipse? Or what is a parabola, a hyperbola? In trigonometry, you'll encounter the unit circle and trigonometric functions such as sine and cosine. Finally, you have basic calculus. You'll get to talk about limits and continuity and finally get to say the limit does not exist. 
The limit does not exist. You'll also talk about differentiation o yung pagkuha na tinatawag nating derivatives and its opposite which is integration. Don't forget the plus C! C ba? Alam ko naman na hanggang ngayon, marami pa rin mga students na parang tinatrato ang math na para pa monster na kailangan puksain or kailangan talunin. So to help you in your journey, I will be giving some tips na alam kong some of you alam na rin to, pero sometimes we just need to be reminded of these things. Tip number one, study every day. Ma'am, ang overrated naman yan. Mag-aaral naman po ako araw-araw. But sometimes we forget. Hindi lang dapat tayo nag-aaral araw-araw. We should be consistent of our schedule. So very challenging at times like this, lalo na nasa bahay tayo, nakakatempt na parating matulog o parating magpahinga. But it will be better if you have some sort of schedule that you will dedicate, especially for math. Kasi merong mga skills na nakakalimutan natin, and when we forget them, yun, nakalimutan kayo sabihin ko. Yun, so you need really to practice. Tip number two, open your mind and your heart. Alam ko naman na medyo mahirap talaga mahali ng math. Pero I'm asking for your patience and to have an open heart and mind to give a little space uh, for mathematics. Kahit konti lang. Lala sa mga STEM students. Matututunan nyo rin yan. It just takes practice, practice, and practice. Kaya nyo to. Tip number three, strengthen your core. Isa siguro sa mga pinaka-importante na kailangan yung tandaan is sa math, kapag meron kang hindi natutunan na previous skill nung kabataan mo, ano junior high ka, nung elementary ka, pag dinala mo siya hanggang sa dumating ka ng senior high or even sa college, magdodomino effect lahat. Para sa isang building o sa bahay, kapag yung foundation ng isang bahay o ng isang building ay hindi matibay, it wouldn't last for so many years. Kapag sa mathematics, yung mga dapat natutunan nyo na ay nakalimutan nyo, it will be helpful if itong mga natitirang araw bago pumasok ay matutunan nyo na sila ulit. Tip number four, put together tip number one, two, and three. SOS. What I mean is, please don't be shy to ask for help. Huwag kayo yung ganito. Kunyari sabihin sa inyo ng teacher nyo, Class, do you understand the lesson? Opo, ma'am. Naintindihan po na. Please be honest and ask questions. Seek for help. Kung may mga kuya kayo, kung may mga ate kayo na magaling sa math, magpaturo kayo. That's the way to math. To practice, to be open, and to do it every day. So that's it. That wraps up all of the mathematics subjects that you may, that you will encounter in senior high school. Uh, deeply pinagpipray ko ang inyong success and I hope you won't give up. Uh, this is just the start of your journey in mathematics in senior high school and you have my full support. Always remember, the limit does not exist. Bye! She lives a double life, puts on